G'day, Glenn Morris from the Smart Energy Lab. And today, the good people from Soul Planet have sent me their latest Grid Connect inverter. It's the eight kilowatt unit with the three MPPTs, but they actually come in a range of sizes. So let's check it out. So this unit here is, uh, like I said, the eight kilowatt, but you know, um, it'll suit a range of different um, customer requirements, um, six, eight, and 10. Now the fact that it's got three MPPTs, now that is just awesome. Um, means you can do some really uh, interesting arrangements of panels on the terrible roofs that people often build these days with uh, all those facets and hips. Uh, that's a big plus. It's got a really high input current on those MPPTs, uh, 16 amps. Now that's great for the high current modules that we're dealing with these days. So big plus there. Um, it's got an integrated DC isolator, that's approved. So uh, no problems with having to install an external DC isolator. Bit of a pain that one is. It's IP66 of course, so it's gonna go outside. It's pretty lightweight. I mean, I just picked it up. It's a bit less than 18 kilograms. So uh, a nice single person lift. And it uses the tallest Phoenix DC connectors. So none of those tricky MC4s, you just push it in. So strip the wire and push it in. Uh, pretty much tallest apart from stripping the wire, of course. And it's got a wide MPPT voltage window starting down at as low as 80 volts. So that's a big plus. And wait you see the color. It's beautiful. Let's get into it. Well, it's in here. Let's check it out. Safety first. I'm gonna be using my favorite sharp knife. I don't know why boxes sometimes say don't use knives. What are you supposed to open them with? A pair of fingernails? Okay, safety. Here we go. Now, first impressions, opening the box, wow, is a lot of lovely cardboard. Now, <laughs> this kind of gets me a bit juiced up. <laughs> I, I hate having to get rid of lots of, lots of um, non-recyclable packaging. So um, yeah, this is engineered cardboard. I mean, it's amazing stuff really. Uh, the way it's organized to create volume and strength and just kind of be a recyclable commodity. So let's um, pull out these components. Mounting plate, nice and simple, um, straightforward. It's even got a little arrow showing which way up, like this, so that's kind of cool. So, uh, the all important energy meter for um, measuring the amount of cell consumption uh, versus generation. So, the inverter itself measures its own generation, but this meter also allows it to see uh, the amount of consumption and for export limiting. Uh, that's, a, that's a big plus. So, provide export limiting capability. Now, these. Uh, the, I call this the lolly bag, um, so kind of fun name for it. Uh, we've got our a bunch of stuff in here. We've got our AC connectors. We've got our Phoenix No Tool DC plugs and sockets for connecting the DC cables to the unit. So that's pretty nice. Uh, we've got our ubiquitous Wi-Fi dongle um, that will be used to connect this thing to the cloud. And we've got some documentation here uh, on how to mount it, including clearances, etc. So, uh, oops, wrong way around. Here we go. Now, let me get this lovely engineered cardboard. Isn't this just amazing stuff, how it's built? I mean, instead of having loads of um, polystyrene, we've got this this engineered bulk cardboard. 
Okay, I think this is about all of the non-recyclable um, component. This little bit of soft packaging foam. I suppose you could say the plastic uh, bags, but really uh, very little at all. Now we come to the main event. Here it is. So this is the, the eight kilowatt unit. Remember it comes in six, eight, and uh, 10 kilowatt uh, varieties. Uh, and as you can see, uh, there's our connectors along the bottom here. So first, first impressions on this unit, the color, I just love it. This kind of delicate blue, sort of gray blue, not offensive, not just another beige box, but anyway, colors a personal uh, choice or passion. Uh, no on-screen display, because you've got a Wi-Fi dongle, you've got an app, and frankly, as much as I as an installer love an on-screen display when I'm commissioning a system, after that, really, the customer probably only looks at it a half a dozen times before they just forget about it. They're more interested in this, its reliability and performance over time. And that's where an app comes. I mean, an app's gonna give you that sort of detail. It's gonna tell you what your self-use is, um, how much you're exporting to grid, importing from grid. Uh, so the, the analytics that an app can give you is way more than what you might just get on with an on-screen display. So um, looking at the, the bottom of this unit here, uh, we've got our three MPPTs. Now, remember, three. Um, <laughs> that's pretty cool in a, you know, the smallest unit being a six, up to a 10 kilowatt unit, um, all having uh, three MPPTs. We've got a usual plug and socket connections for um, comms, um, Wi-Fi dongle, uh, AC uh, in, and there's our integrated DC isolator that is compliant and approved. Great, great to have that. So this is kind of all you need. Um, I mean, if you're installing it within, um, a couple of meters of a, of a switchboard, you don't even need an AC isolator adjacent to it. Uh, that's about it. Now let's have a look at the back. So you can see, well, it's really the top, the heat sink on this unit, carefully done. Uh, passively cooled, so uh, no fans on the outside, so therefore it's IP66, doesn't require any uh, internal um, cooling, so a lot of heat sink. And uh, it's probably the chokes down here. It's, it's worth noting that the manufacturer will tell you what the clearances are for uh, installing uh, from other material, uh, other surfaces like adjacent equipment or a ceiling. And it's actually pretty important because if you look at this heat sink, it's gonna vent up and down vertically. Uh, it's gonna need to have some space above it for convection to work well and some space below it. And equally either side um, for some of that dissip dissipation uh, from the size of the unit. So just make sure you comply with the manufacturer's requirements in terms of uh, clearances uh, around an inverter. But there you go, that's, that's the uh, Soul Planet. Uh, eight kilowatt grid connect inverter. Looking forward to getting it on a wall and making some good clean energy. Thanks Soul Planet. see ya.